What is going on guys and I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to another episode of Gear and Stuff. Uh, this is a series that I made for this channel because I wanted to talk about products that I like, product that I've been using long term, and new product just like the one we have today. So this is the Dometic Hydration Water Jug with their on you automatic powered spout here. Um, this is their faucet, faucet. I think faucet is a, the correct word for this. But uh, I first saw this product in action last year when I was at the outdoor retailer show um, in Colorado. Uh, my truck was being featured at the MK lighter booth and right next to us was the medic. And they were basically there featuring a lot of their brand new outdoor uh, products, chairs, tables, and in this case, something that caught my eye was this water jug. Now I did like how compact and how easy it was to use this product when I first saw it. So I had to order one and get myself one. So it finally got here right in time for this episode of Gear and Stuff. So let's get into the details of what makes this product so special. And if you guys want to read a little more, maybe I missed something on this video, you already know, down in the description will be the link, click it, read more, get yourself one, whatever you want to do, let's get into this video. So here we have it, first look here, we're going to flip it around, show you guys all the angles, all the sides, the bottom, the top, and one thing that I'm feeling already is that this thing is solid, solid. Uh, for those of us that camp and are in rugged conditions, you want to make sure that everything you buy is solid. Um, this is nice. The texture is nice too. Um, one thing that I'm noticing here right away is that you do have some straps that are Velcroed. Uh, for those of you guys that want to have this in a, in a small area where you just want to refill it from the inside, don't want to worry about the, the straps. You can take them off. You also have the straps just in case you want to carry it. So up top we have two screw on caps here. The first one is to basically refill this water container. You also have a small rubber fitting uh, with a small opening here. Just in case you want to pour some water out and have some type of control of where that water is going. Whether it's a dog bowl or whatever it is. Um, this is pretty neat. You can also just remove it and use this cavity here to refill the jug. So on this cap, we do have two important things here. We have the pressure valve here that you can basically screw in and out depending on how much pressure you want uh, on this tank or how much pressure you want to release when you're at camp depending on elevation. And we also have the quick release here that attaches the fitting to the faucet. Just like that. Another thing that I like is that the cavity is big enough here for you to stick your hand in here and actually clean uh, the tank itself. Whether you want to put water in here, you want to put some margarita mix, whatever you want to do. Maybe a little bit of dust gets in there, you want to clean it um, after a long trip. You can stick your hand there, get it all nice and clean and get it ready for the next trip. Now, when I reach in there, I notice there is another cap here with a spigot And now we have a spigot that we can use to let the water out. Now, one of the main reasons why I like and wanted to get myself one of these jugs is because it does hold 11 liters of water. We convert that that's 2.9 gallons of water. Um, and it is food grade, so you're not gonna get sick if you have water in here and you're drinking out of it. Um, I'm always really, Skeptical about drinking water from my Alucab uh, water tank, which holds 13 gallons. That's a massive tank. Uh, so I always use that uh, water source to just clean my dishes and whatnot. And I'm always carrying around these guys. Uh, I'm sure you guys can relate. Uh, for those of you guys that have gotten sick from drinking water that is just, you know, it's been sitting in a container or whatever, it's not food grade. It's not a good feeling, so I've always just carried these things around and uh, I've learned to just trust these water jugs more than anything. And now that I know that these things are, you know, food grade, um, you can put water in, you can drink out of the water, 
that is one of the main reasons why I got this. So yeah, it's pretty rad, huh? All right, so here we have the automatic faucet. The neat thing about this is that it does feel rugged, feels solid to the hand, and a few of the features that it offers is, sorry guys, I keep like turning it around, I'm just tripping out. Um, the bottom of it is magnetic, so uh, the Medic does have two small plates here. You can place these wherever you want, whether you want to put one on top of your hydration uh, tank or if you want to put it uh, inside your car, your camper, maybe you have a kitchen that you pull out uh, with a goose gear system. You can put that with some stickies that are also provided, boom. And now you can move this around from place to place. Um, on the back side here, you do have a small little opening that allows you to grab the hose that's provided. You basically put it in just like that. And now this can go into the hydration tank or any type of water tank that you may have. Now up top, you will have the small touch sensor has a small little droplet here, or water drop, or teardrop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it is touched, so you double tap it, turns it on, single tap it, turns it off. Now, on the bottom, you also have some small LEDs that activate. Oh, there we go. So, you can use this basically, you know, in the morning when the sun's about to come out, sunset or even at night you know it will give you a nice view of where that water source is coming from this does not require batteries you can actually charge it with the charger which is right here here we go put this in here Let's see if i can use this to open it here we go little charger here plug this in connect this to a usb cable your USB adapter and you can charge this while on the road or even inside your camper. So let's put it all together, put some water in there and see how it works. All right, so before I give you guys my final thoughts on the Dometic Hydration Jug and the Automatic Faucet, let's give this coffee a good slurp here. One more time. Yeah, it's pretty good coffee, guys. And uh, the reason why I slurp my coffee is because I feel like when you slurp coffee, that's when you get the best uh, flavors of that coffee. Um, funny fact or fun fact here. Funny fact. Fun fact is, uh, I actually used to work at Starbucks when I first got out of high school. I worked there for two years, uh, eventually started my own business. And now my wife actually manages a Starbucks, uh, facility or a Starbucks store. Um, and the neat thing about it is that we do get to taste some of their high class or high end coffee like this one, it's called Sambia, sun-dried, and it's, it is from the Starbucks Reserve. Um, so pretty neat to have this coffee for this episode of Gear and Stuff. But overall, my thoughts and final thoughts, I think this unit is a pretty cool unit. Not only is the faucet pretty dope, the fact that it has, you know, its own little mechanism here that, you know, dispenses the water for you uh, with just a single touch or a double tap. Um, but the fact that it's so compact, so rugged, I mean, the options here are pretty 
you have a few options that you can, you know, make out of this unit. Whether you just want to buy just the automatic spout or automatic faucet and use it with your current uh, jug or your current water tank or if you want to buy this whole entire unit. I mean, it's, it's really up to you. I really, really like the unit. I think it's going to go great with my new addition, which is a 91 Land Cruiser. And uh, overall, I mean, we can use this anywhere we go. We can go use it at camp, we can go to the beach, bring this with us, and have good drinking water with us at all times. Now, as always, I will be linking both products here, the faucet and the hydration jug, down below in the description. So you guys can click on the link, you guys can read more, just in case I did miss something. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys like this type of content, you guys like the series of gear and stuff, let me know down below in the description. If you guys already have this product, let me know how you like it out on the trails uh, or when you're out, you know, exploring. And that is pretty much it. What more can I say? As always, I want to thank you guys so much for always watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.